you know, it's funny, one of the uh, best things about traveling cross country and being on the road is coming across things that I didn't even think about. I never ever would think to look for. And this is one of them. <laughs> this is the American Gothic house here in Eldon, Iowa. So this famous painting, American Gothic, was painted in 1930 by artist Grant Wood, who lived right here in Iowa. He only saw the house twice, I believe. He saw it and uh, sketched it. Um, it was built between 1881 and 1882 by Catherine and Charles Dibble. And uh, it's constructed in a style known as Carpenter Gothic, which is why it, the title of the painting is American Gothic. It says here on the, on the plaque that the house contains two Gothic windows. The back window is a mirror image of the front. It is believed that the windows were purchased through the Sears catalog. <laughs> This seems to happen a lot in my videos lately, but there's a storm coming in. So I want to be pretty quick. I think I'm kind of right in the middle of it. Um, it was raining here before and now it's kind of subsided, but talk about being able to see the backside of a painting. This is it. If the farmer and his daughter were standing there right now, you'd be able to see their butts. <laughs> It's probably a cute little house inside though. I love the, the big windows, which obviously is a big feature in the painting as well, the front, the front big window. Now, the, as for the people in the uh, painting itself, Grant Wood used his sister, Nan Wood, Nan Wood Graham, and his dentist, <laughs> Dr. Byron McKeeby, for his uh, two stand-in models there. And he promised them that they would not be recognized. He changed them slightly. He changed more so his his sister. If a lot of people think of the painting as a, a husband and wife, which I was guilty of that as well, but in actuality, it's a farmer and his daughter. Uh, the two never posed together. Um, they never actually even met until they posed for this photograph. 12 years later. A lot of people for some reason believe that the house had been moved. Um, people swear that it was in a different spot, but it says in reality, the road in front was removed to build the trails and the center, which makes the house seem like it is in a different location. In the 1960s and early 1970s, there were discussions about moving the house to a more convenient location, but no action was ever taken and this is where it's set. So I'm guessing that the road probably at some point was right through here. And that's why when people come that were here many, many years ago or decades ago, they, they think, you know, was it pushed back? Was it, is it off the grass or, you know, off the road? No, it's just been changed so much. I guess there's a bunch of hiking trails and everything back through here. And they created this um, little circle that you can come around and most people just stand right here and take pictures. And um, gaze up at the house, at the beautiful Gothic house. Now when you come here, if you ever come here, that's actually a little museum there to the right, a little visitor center. They even have a whole thing of directions on how to how to pose so you could create your own American Gothic parody here. <laughs> so I guess you stand. Oh, that's neat. So they made it into the window, but really that's that's where they want you to stand. It's funny. So if you don't really know Grant Wood's style, this is kind of like his style here. I think it's pretty neat. Everything's very rounded. Rounded trees and everything. Oh, and speaking of the window, that curtain is kind of an interesting topic. A lot of people ask about it. That curtain was made to look like, to resemble uh, the curtain that Wood put in the painting. He kind of imagined that on his own. 
there was not that type of curtain when he was here in the 1930s. He was only here, I think, two times to sketch this house. And um, I think there was just a simple white linen curtain there. And um, Grant Wood thought it needed something a little bit more than that. Um, and you can see right here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is what the curtain, I believe, looked like in real life when he was sketching it. So you can see right here where they talk about it. So if you come here, there's plenty of information. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, you can't. There's no way you can see in there. That's too bad. So that's kind of cool to be able to stand on the porch. It's almost like I'm in a painting. Weird. To, it's strange. I mean, to many of you watching, you're probably like, well, it's just a house. Yeah, but it's interesting because you've been looking at this your whole life, or I've been looking at this my whole life. This painting comes across, comes up a lot. And uh, now I'm standing in that painting. Interesting. Anyway, just thought I'd show you this real quick because uh, it's pretty cool to see this kind of stuff. All right. I'm getting back on the road. See you in the next video.